Hello and welcome to this amazing Microsoft Excel video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to, in continuation of our hail inspiring single cell formula, demonstrate how to create a dynamic cross tab report using vast arrays of functions. So let's get started. If you are new to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon to be notified of new videos. So let's dive in. Now this is the sample of what we want to achieve. Now you can see we have this data set and we've got this drop down in cell K1. And we have this cross tab report that display the total sales by account manager by order priority. So when I come to this cell K1, and I choose, let's say, critical order priority. You can see the report dynamically updates. When I choose, let's say, medium order priority, you can see it dynamically updates. Or when I choose not specified, it dynamically updates. So let's see how we can build this kind of formula from the scratch. So I'm going to come to the exercise sheet. Now, we have the same data set, and of course, the data set is officially stored in an Excel table. The name of the table is data, and of course, I just have a single label here, nothing else. So, the first thing we're going to do is to create our drop-down list in cell K1. Now, before we create the drop-down list, I need a unique list of the other priorities. So, I'm going to come to cell L1, and I'm going to type in amazing new to row function. So, to row and of course i'm going to type in the sort function and the unique function and then i can grab the order priority column many side in column d and close the innermost unique the sort and the to row function when i control it i can see the list of the unique order priority so i can come to cell k1 go to the data tab under the data tools group click on data validation and want to set under the settings, I want to choose allow and we want a list. I can click on the source and click on the first value in cell L1. Press the pound sign to give me the values in that entire range. So this is called a spill operator for the dynamic arrays formulas. So I can click OK. So when I come to cell K1, I can see the list of the unique order priorities. So I can check or choose anyone I want, that's fine. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just paint this in white font. I can come to the own tab, I can click on this, and it is hidden. Now, it is not deleted. You can see it is very much in the formula, but the formula can be seen here. So it is not deleted, but it's just hidden. Now, let's write our formula. We're going to combine some cool, amazing advanced function in Excel to achieve the outcome. So let's do that together. So in cell I3, I'm going to type in let. Now the let function requires names to be defined and values to be assigned to the names. And ultimately, we need to write our calculation. So for the name one, I'm going to call it account manager, comma. So the value I want to assign to the name is this account manager many side, putting a comma. Now for the name two, I need the unique sorted list of the account manager. So I'm going, to, I'm going to copy this in memory. I'm going to come here. I'm going to type in unique, unique sorted account manager. Comma. Now for the value, I'm going to use the amazing sort function and the unique function. Then I'm going to call this control C and I'm just going to paste here. And of course, we're going to evaluate the formula as we go along. So I'm going to put in a comma. So for my calculation, temporarily, I'm going to call this name unique sorted account manager. I'm going to call me. I'm going to paste control V, close the bracket, control enter. That's amazing. So we can see the unique account manager's name sorted in ascending order, which is the default. Now I'm going to come here. Now let's make the formula to be highly readable by indenting the formula so alt enter so this is going to be the first line of the code amazing so i'm going to come here delete and delete alt enter to jump to the next line so again i need something similar so i'm going to call the next one order year comma 
and for the value, I want to assign, I want to assign the order here in column B, comma, and of course for the name for, I need the unique. Okay, let me just grab this. Control C, unique sorted account manager. I can paste here. I can modify this. I'm going to call this one order here. So it's going to give us unique sorted order here, comma. Again, we need the sort function, the unique function, and of course we want to call the order here control v oops control c i'm going to paste here control v close the unique sort comma and let's evaluate the unique sorted order here control v close the bracket control enter that's amazing so we can see we have five years period from 2010 to 2015 so if you come here you can see we have the same thing five 2010 to 2015 amazing so let's come back to the top cell where the formula is let me just move this down. So I'm going to just delete this. Backs, delete, delete, alt, enter. Now the next thing we need is the order priority. In the same order, I'm going to just call this one order priority. Priority, comma. Now, of course, we also want to assign this order priority column D, comma. Now, for the name six, I'm going to call this one um, unique order priority comma now i'm going to assign the value in cell k1 which is our drop down value in cell k1 and i can close the bracket or put in a comma now let's just evaluate this unique order priority control v close the bracket control enter now this return low because the order priority low is selected in k1 now when i choose let's say medium you can see it's dynamically updates now that's the key part of this amazing video we want to create a dynamic cross tab report amazing so double click i can get rid of these delete delete alt enter now again i need the total column so i'm going to call this one total sales put in a comma and i want to assign this value the total column from the data table then of course we don't even need to evaluate that's not necessary come so alt enter now the next thing i want to do is the other part because we want to create a cross tab report now we need the other year to be in rows and the account manager to be in the column so for the rows i'm going to use the amazing to row function to put to push this into the row so i'm going to come here i'm going to just grab this unique sorted order here i'm going to copy control v to paste and of course because we have used the name here i need to modify the name so i'm just going to add to row put in a comma now for the value that i'm going to assign i'm going to use the to row function now i'm just going to paste that close the bracket and then we can evaluate this control c i come here i put in a comma i control v i can close the bracket i control enter that's amazing so we can see 20 2010 11 12 to 2015 cool double click this formula delete this delete delete alt enter next thing we want to do is to get the account manager and the order year headers so i'm just going to grab this control c i'm going to paste here and i'm just going to add header put in a comma now for the value that i want to assign i'm just going to click on the account manager in cell c1 and um, we have this um, structured referencing syntax for the headers put in a comma now for the second one we need um alt enter for the name 10 i'm going to call this one order here control c that i'm going to control v i'm just going to add in header comma and i want to assign the order here in cell b1 that's amazing go to the comma control alt enter now we can even try to evaluate let's just evaluate this control c and paste here control v when i close the bracket and i control enter c we have the account manager coming from the Either in cell C1. So when I do the same thing for the order year header, control V, I have the order year. Amazing. So double click, get rid of this, delete, delete, all things. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to undo the top row calculation. So for the top row, I'm going to call it um, top row calc. 
Now, the top is going to involve the label of account manager for slash order year. So for this, I'm going to use the age stack function, which all these value stacks. Now, I'm going to combine the concat text function that can combine or concatenate a list of text string. Press the tab key. You might be wondering why am I using you know concat, but you can actually use concat. That's fine. So for the text one, I'm going to grab the account manager header. I'm going to paste here, comma. Now for the text two, I'm going to put in the forward forward slash inside double quote. So double quote forward slash double quote. Now you can even put some space. Now comma so for the text three i'm going to grab the order year control c i can paste this control v then i'm going to close the concat function and then we are back to the h tag i can push the h tag we are back to the let i can put in a comma i can grab this top row and check as our calculation for now close the bracket control enter that's amazing so i can Increase the column width so we have the account manager for slash order j cool now the next thing i'm going to do you know in this same h tag now this is the array one now but i'm going to put in a comma so for the array two i actually want to stack the unique sorted order year to go that we defined here okay so i'm going to grab this control c carefully come after this comma Control V to paste, Control Enter. That's amazing. So we can see that we have the label, and of course we have the unique list of the order year 2010 to 2015. Amazing. Now that is the upper row calculation. Now let's deal with the innermost or the middle calculation. So I'm going to delete this, delete, delete, Alt Enter. So I'm going to call this one middle calc comma so for the middle card again i'm going to use the age start function now i want to start the unique sorted account manager first so i'm going to grab this unique sorted account manager control c and come here i can control v i can close this for now i can put in a comma and i can grab this middle card to evaluate control v close the bracket control enter so we can see the unique sorted list of the account manager double click the, for the formula now we can call me put in a comma so the this is going to be an array one so for the array two i'm going to deploy the sum if function so sum ifs so for the sum ifs i'm going to put in a bracket so now we need the total sales and of course for all the three criteria the account manager the order year and the other priority so we need to specify that inside the sum if x function so the sum range that must contain a column that contains numeric value that's going to be the total total sales that we define here okay so we can see what the value we assign we assign this total column value which contains numeric values so i'm going to come here total sales put in a comma so for the criteria range one that's going to be the account manager many side the first thing we did here okay so i'm going to come here put in a comma so for the criteria one that's going to be the unique sorted account manager i'm going to put in a comma so for the criteria range two that's going to be the order year so i'm going to type in order year put in a comma so for the criteria so that's going to be the unique sorted order year put in a comma so for the criteria range three which is the dynamic part of the order priority i'm going to call the order priority name we define putting a comma now for the criteria three i'm going to call the unique sorted or unique order priority it's not sorted but a priority close the bracket now i'm going to control enter and show you something now you can see we have the of course the unique names and of course we have this you know calculation now you, you might be wondering why do we have zero now the reason is because i'm going to double click the formula in the inside the sum ifs here in the criteria two now i use the unique sorted order year now that is encoded it is actually going to be unique sorted order year to to row that we define here okay i'm going to grab this i'm going to come here i'm going to check for the 
criteria two, I'm going to control V. When I control it, I'll see what happens. Amazing. So we have the innermost part of the formula working. Now let's just apply currency formatting, control shift four. Okay, I can get rid of the decimals for now. That's working. So I'm going to open the top cell. I'm going to delete this. Our checker, delete, delete, hold, enter. Now let's deal with the bottom row calculation. So I'm going to just copy this, control C, control V. I'm just going to delete the top and right and bottom. And then I'm going to put in a comma. I'm going to put, use an H stack. Now in the H stack, in the bottom row, the very first cell in the bottom row, I'm going to dump in total sales because we want to calculate the total sales at the bottom level. So inside double quotes, I'm going to type in total sales, close the double quote. Now, when I let's just close it and see what's going to be delivering. I'm going to grab this bottom row. I can come here, I can control it, I can close the bracket, control enter. So we have the total sales to sales so i'm going to come here carefully put in a comma to access the h tag array to now for the array to i'm going to use the sum ifx function one more time some ifs now inside the sum ifs you might be wondering why do we need another sum ifs now we actually need it to stack the order year and the order priority beside these total sales at the bottom level so now inside the sum if we need to provide the sum range again, it remains the total sales comma. Now the criteria range one is going to be in this case. Now we do not need the um, account manager because that's already taken care of in the top row, um, um, in the middle calculation we did here. Okay, you can see. So we don't need this. So I'm going to come here. Now we need the order year. So I'm going to grab order year comma. Now the criteria one is going to be the unique. Now again, we need the unique sorted order year to row. Put in a comma. Now for the criteria range two, we need the order priority. Put in a comma. For the criteria two, we need the order. Sorry, unique, unique sorted order priority. Okay, that's it. Now when I control enter, see what happens. Now we have the bottom row calculation. Okay, that's amazing. Now we are getting close to the end of this amazing formula. So I'm going to just um, carefully come here. I'm going to delete, delete, alt, enter. Now we made the final calculation. So I'm going to call this final cal. Now because we want to evaluate as we go step by step, I'm going to give a name. I'm going to define a name. Now, now this is not necessary, but because we want to actually evaluate. So I'm going to call it final cal put in a comma now that's good you can see we have actually written like name value 14 amazing so i'm going to use the v stack function the v stack function vertically stacks array okay so let me just move this here so you can see now for the array one i'm going to grab top row calc i'm going to paste here comma so for the array two i can call the middle calc or you can even copy and paste Okay, let's do it. Let's evaluate this first. Close the bracket, comma. Let's call the final cow holding this formula. Close the bracket, control it. So we can see the top row start. Double click the formula. Now, carefully, I'm going to come here. I'm going to put in a comma to access the array tool. I'm going to call this one middle cow. When I control it, I can see the middle part is. There, that's amazing. Cool. Now I'm going to double click the top cell and finally I'm going to call the um, the bottom cow bottom row calc. When I control enter, see what happens. So we have the top row that contains the labels and the unique sorted list of the order year using the to row function. And then we have the innermost part of the formula. And then we have the bottom, which houses the total sales label, and of course the aggregate of all these values for each of the year 2010 to 2015, respectively. Now, if you check the status bar, now let's just apply currency formatting, control shift four, let's get rid of the decimals. Now, let's just take this 2015 for instance. Now, if you check the status bar, 
that will give us 1 million 391,398. Now, that's exactly what we have here 1 million 391,398. Now, let's check this one. This one is going to give us 1 million 419,892. That's exactly the same thing we achieved. Now, the dynamic part of this formula is that when I come to this cell K1 that houses the unique order priority. And I choose, let's say, critical. See what happens. The formula, the calculates, it updates dynamically. Now, when I choose, let's say, I, it recalculates. Okay, so it's it, it's working dynamically. When I choose um, not specified order priority, everything recalculates. So this is basically how we can use a single cell formula to create a dynamic cross tab report i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please like comment share with your friends and subscribe to the channel because the best is yet to come thank you and bye for now